Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to quickly walk through how you can begin graphing functions in Python. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using PyCharm, which is a free, downloadable, integrated design environment. I will leave a link in the description down below on how you can download and get started in PyCharm. Let's begin by creating a new file, and with that, a new Python virtual environment that we will work out of. So, file, new project, and let's give it a name here. Then, let's click create at the bottom here. Next, we need to install two Python packages, NumPy and Matplotlib. To do this, let's come to our interpreter in the bottom right here. As you can see, it says function graph, as that is what we created initially. Let's click this and hit interpreter settings. This is very important, as if you have the wrong interpreter selected, Python won't recognize the packages that we're about to download. You can change your interpreter up at the top here if you need to. Once you have the right interpreter selected, let's click on the small plus sign down here, and then we will begin searching for NumPy. Select it and click install package. Then we'll repeat the same thing, but for matplotlib. Now that all of our relevant Python packages are installed, let's close this window. Now that the packages are installed to our virtual environment, we need to import them into this file. So let's type import numpy as np and import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Now we are going to make a Python function for our math function that we want to graph. So we'll define our function like so. Then this function is simply going to return the answer of the function that we want to graph. So for a given x point, it'll take in the x and square it and return that value. But this should make more sense in a minute. We now need to create our data points that we are going to be plotting. Let's say that we want to plot x squared from minus 4 to 6. To do this, we are going to use NumPy's lin space. This line says that we are going to create 10 equal points beginning at negative 4 and ending at positive 6. I will print this x variable so you can see that now. So, these are all of our input variables for our graph. We now obviously need to know what the outputs for all these inputs are such that we can create a graph. Fortunately, this is very easy and all we need to do is pass our list of input variables to our earlier created function like so. Let's just go ahead and print both of these so you can see our input and our output variables. Lastly, to plot our function, we just need to tell matplotlib to plot our input and output like so. Then, one final line to tell matplotlib to show our graph when we run the file. Running our function, you can see that we are presented with our plot as expected. As you can see though, our function looks a little choppy. This is simply because our number of inputs and outputs is only 10. Let's change this to 100 and rerun our program. And there we go, this is much smoother now. We can add some markers to our graph if you want by adding this marker argument with a dot marker. Now, we can see that the markers present on our graph, but they're a little small. So let's change our markers face color, MFC, to black and make the marker size, MS, 12. From here, you can easily change your function like so. For example, we can change our inputs on the graph or anything else you really want to do. There's obviously a lot more you can do with matplotlib to visualize your data, but I hope this served as a good introduction to graphing simple functions in Python using NumPy and matplotlib. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our YouTube memberships by clicking that join button down below. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.